Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, I would like to share how to remove or customize the title part of a user form. Firstly, go to the Developer tab, click on Visual Basic. Let's insert a module and now go to the description under this video, copy the code and paste it here. If you see red color risk, which means there's something wrong with this code. But doesn't matter, double click on the user form that we wish to remove the title part, run it. And we should be able to see the suggestion given by Excel. As we can see, this system is using a 64 byte system, which means that we should update the declare statements with the PDR save attribute. Click on OK and now go to each declare. In front function, we type PDR save. Remember to type a space and now proceed to the second statement. Also, type PDR save and follow by a space. Repeat exactly for the rest of the declare statements. And now we should have no more red color bits. Next, rename the self if needed. Copy the name and move to the user form. Double click on it. Instead of using click, from the list of procedure, choose activate. Delete the unwanted if needed. And now paste the name of the self. Space and type me. The me here stands for this object, which is the user form. And now, double click on the user form, click on run. Another issue occurred where the file user64 is not found. Click on debug and we check it. If the file user64 is not workable, which means that we should use user32. In contrast, if user32 is not workable, we may try for user64, but this is rarely happened. And now, click on Reset. Double click on the user form and run it again. Another issue occurred where the system couldn't find find window in user32. For this case, very simple. Click on End. Back to the module. Copy file window. Go to Edit and click on Replace. Or make use of shortcut key, Control H. Replace file window with file window A with a capital A at the end of file window. Click on Replace all. Click on OK and now copy get window long for the file what is it? Paste again in replace with and type A after it. Replace all. Click on OK. Lastly, copy set window long. Paste it. Also replace with the one with A. Replace all. Click on OK. Cancel. Now let's back to user form 1 and run it. And now we can see that the title bar is being removed. Since the title bar is being removed, we can now customize the title bar according to our preference. With the use of this two box at the top most editable area of this user form, insert a label. Click on the properties window and we customize it according to our preference. We could change the back color if we want. Refer to the system color or the palette, select accordingly and now Change the caption if needed. Also, change the font size and the font type. Select the desired style. Click on OK. We could also change the font color. And now we should have a customized title bar. Click on the user form and run it. From here, we should be able to notice that the user form is longer and wider as compared to the one that we designed. This is because the original title bar is being restructured and moved to the bottom and the space here is reserved for the scroll bar. To overcome this issue, let's back to the user form. Double click on the user form. After me, press enter. Let's adjust the height of the user form. We type me.height. That equal to me.height and we minus 24. Type a number and simply try an arrow. Run again and check. Adjust the number if needed. And now let's adjust the width. So we type me.width. Also set equal to me.width. Again, type a number and simply try an arrow. Run. Adjust again if needed. And we should have a customized title bar that we want as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a like this. See you.